Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna now react to Supernatural Season 1 episode... What are we on now? 4? Yeah, episode 4. People seem to be enjoying these so that's a good sign. I'm gonna keep on going with this. We're very early on in Season 1 but it's enjoyable and I'm definitely gonna keep going. So yeah, let's watch episode 4 which is called Phantom Traveller. Let's do this. He looks like he's seen better days. Nervous flyer? Is that obvious, huh? You know, what are the odds of dying in a plane crash? I mean, what? 20,000 to one? Wow. That's uh, really reassuring. Thank you. <laughs> What's coming out of that thing? What on earth? Oh. Thanks. Great. Amanda, how are you today? I'm He's going to be the one to take this plane down, I'm assuming. Have a nice flight, sir. Oh, I'm counting on it. Excuse me. I've got to stretch my legs. Okay. And what's he going to do here now? He's just going to open the door. Just walk out. Hey, what the hell are you doing? Easy to open a door. Oh my god. I'm having flashbacks to Lost. Seriously, Are those just really tiny adjust? cups or is his hand just massive? What is it? Can we talk in person? Thanks for making the trip so quick. I ought to be doing you guys a favor, not the other way around. Dean and your dad really helped me out. I listen to this. Normally I wouldn't have access to this. It's the cockpit voice recorder for United Britannia Flight 2485. So how did you get access to it then? No way I've got he that kind of He's so pretty. Hey. Hi. And then he does something like that. <laughs> no survivors! No What's that supposed to mean? There were seven survivors. Me. There was this man, he had these black eyes, and I saw, or I thought I saw, he opened the emergency exit. But that's, that's impossible, right? I mean, I looked it up, there's something like two tons yeah, of pressure on that door. Yeah, I thought it would be difficult to just open it. This man, uh, did he uh, seem to appear and disappear rapidly? It, it would look something like a mirage. What are you, nuts? He was a passenger. He was sitting right in front of me. So now they know that someone's been possessed anyway. Oh yes. Man, Get him in some suits. Brothers. No you don't. You look more like a seventh grader at his first dance. He looks nothing like a seventh grader at my first dance. You want into that warehouse or not? Look more like the Blues Brothers. Just got an abundance of fake ideas. So it was just that easy to get in, was it? I know what an EMF meter is, but why does that one look like a busted up Walkman? Because that's what I made it out of. It's homemade. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. <laughs> what is this stuff? One way to find out. <laughs> Did he just wipe down him then? I'm gonna be right there with you too. Anytime you feel like you don't want the wheel, I'll take over. Look, so is he gonna uh, get possessed now as well? Because he's showing nerves, like it feeds off nerves or something. No, the waiting is worse. Yep, there's the vent. Called it. Stuff is covered in sulfur. You sure? Take a look for yourself. He's just gonna know what sulfur Fellas, looks like. Excuse me, I have an idiot to fire. Hmm. You know, there's not too many things that leave behind a sulfur residue. Demonic possession. What could this thing be getting out of killing these people? I mean, demons, they don't want anything. Just death and destruction for its own sake. Alright, okay. And this is big. 
So demons are a different ball game. Hello. Great voice recorder. Remember what the EVP said? No survivors. It's going after all the survivors. Just trying to finish the job. Uh, okay. Look, I gotta go. Um, tell him to call me when I land. No, no, wait, Amanda. Amanda! Damn it! You missed it. So close. All right, it's time for plan B. We're getting on that plane. Well, well, now just hold on a second. Dean, that plane is leaving with over 100 passengers on board. And if we're right, that plane is going to crash. I know. Well, OK, then we're getting on the plane. We need to find that demon and exercise it. Look, I'll get the tickets. You just go get whatever you can out of the trunk, whatever will make it through security. Meet me back here in five minutes. No, not really. What? He's What's wrong? scared of flying, isn't he? Well, I kind of have this problem with uh, flying. It's never really been an issue until now. You're joking, right? Do I look like I'm joking? So he looks his car so much. What do you think I drive everywhere, uh, Sam? Yeah. All right, well, that's got to be Amanda back there, so I'll go talk to her, and uh, I'll get a read on her mental state. Right. What if she's already possessed? There's ways to test that. I brought holy water. No, I think we can go more subtle. If she's possessed, holy she'll water is the thing then in there. Oh, nice. Look, everybody's scared of something. I just, uh, I'm not gonna let her hold me back. So the demon can't possess her because she isn't scared and nervous. Maybe. Christo. That's how it works. I'm sorry, did you say something? Christo? I, I, I didn't. I had nothing, never mind. <laughs> Is it gonna possess him because he's the nervous one? All right, well, she's gotta be the most well-adjusted person on the planet. Well, that, no, because he's not survivor. No he's not survivor, so it's getting not gonna possess it. So it's on the plane, it can be anyone, anywhere. Come on, that can't be normal. Hey, hey, you're wide open to demonic possession, so you need oh, so to calm yourself down. it could take over him then. Right now. I thought it was only because the others were survivors. Good job, it looks like a Walkman now then, really, isn't it? What are you asking me to do? Get the co-pilot. We need you to bring him back here. Why? What does he have to do with anything? Don't have time to explain. We just need to talk to him, okay? Okay. Is this gonna be an easy kill or is this gonna get messy? It's a problem. Wait, what, what are you doing? You said you were just gonna talk to him. We are gonna talk to him. <laughs> Oh my god. Look, we need you calm. We need no, you. Wait, we need you outside of the curtain. Don't let anybody in, okay? Can you do that? I... Can you do that? Amanda. Okay. Okay. And if that was me, I'd be like, oh my god, these men are like pouring acid over the pilot. These men are evil terrorists or something. They know what happened to your girlfriend. Must have died screaming. Even now she's burned. Oh my gosh. Ah! Oh, I feel like it's in the throat. It's great. Where'd you go? It's in the plane. It's in the vent. It's brilliant. This screaming face. I think he needs a new pair of pants. He's gonna find it even harder to get on a plane again now after that, isn't he? You okay? Of course he's not okay. It knew about Jessica. Sam, these things, they, they, they read minds. Oh. They lie. All right, that's all it was. I thought there was like another demonic world where they all know each other or something there. I meant to ask you, how did you give my cell phone number anyway? I've only had it for like six months. Your dad gave it to me. I mean, I didn't exactly talk to him, but uh, called his number, his voice message said to give you a call. 
So he's transferring all of his calls to Dean and Sam because he's busy, maybe? This is John Winchester. I can't be reached. If this is an emergency, call my son Dean. 785-555-0179. He can help. Well, he recorded that message, so he's obviously alive. So at the end of that episode, we at least found out a little bit more. Either the demon has a different world and therefore knows information about other demons, or Dean was right and they just read minds and that was that. And their dad, Jeffrey D. Morgan, I don't remember his name in this now, but he's now passing a message on to people that need supernatural help to go to Dean and Sam. But then that means that he must be alive, so I don't know. Getting a little bit closer to finding out more about them. I've noticed that after watching these episodes that Sam has more social skills in the sense of sympathy and empathy towards others. He can calm a situation down and uh, reassure people, whereas Dean's more direct and blunt and just wants to get to the point, basically. But yeah, we're, we're getting to know the lads a little bit more now. I actually really enjoyed the episode as well. So yeah, I'm ready for episode five next week. So Fear the Walking Dead returns soon as well and I'll be reacting to that and that's gonna be a priority for me. I am loving Supernatural, so I'm definitely gonna continue with it. So please don't worry. So thanks to everyone for watching and I hope you all have a lovely week and I'll see you again soon for another video. Bye.